So this is what downtown of Sao Paulo looks like on a Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Good morning from Sao Paulo, the biggest city in Brazil, and also the biggest city in all Latin America. You know, I love big cities, so I'm really excited to be here. And uh, in a moment, we are going out on a long walk through different neighborhoods of Sao Paulo. If that sounds interesting to you, come and join us. <laughs> Yeah, let's go on a walk in Sao Paulo. In Sao Paulo, there are more than 10 million people living in the city itself, but of course, it's not just a standalone city anymore, it's a huge metropolitan area, and in this huge metropolitan area in Sao Paulo metropolitan area there are more than 35 million people living now 35 million it's like um, 17 18 populations of Latvia so yeah <laughs> that's a huge place for me that's a huge place for a Latvian here is I think the opera house or theater Trolley bus. Haven't seen them for a while. Some pretty buildings around here. But yeah, same like in Rio de Janeiro, there are a lot of homeless people in Sao Paulo, a lot of people living on the streets, and uh, that might make you feel uneasy. Not because uh, homeless people, people living on the streets, are necessarily dangerous but um, just because some of them look strange they might be under some drugs or something and um, they might be might be dangerous so yeah yeah so this is this is near the place where this city started from the very, very downtown of Sao Paulo, the more or less historical part of Sao Paulo, even though it doesn't look like that right now. Yeah, this is impressive, I must say. This uh, big city square reminds me a little bit of um, Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam and also lots of interesting people in Sao Paulo for example yesterday uh, in the afternoon in the evening when we arrived we went on a short walk and we were surprised to see so many metal and rock music fans hanging around near some bars and yeah Sao Paulo is different from Rio de Janeiro in that It's more cosmopolitan and more vibrant than Rio de Janeiro. We just found an interesting place to visit. We were just walking and then we saw quite a lot of people standing by some building. I looked on the map, I saw that there is some viewpoint that opens at 9. It was exactly 9. People entered the building and we followed them. Let's see what we have found just by accident. We are planning to go to some another viewpoint, but uh, this one seems like very interesting. 26th floor. So the viewpoint. Wow, looks good. They have a viewpoint. There is an exhibition, like it's a museum also. Uh, there is a museum about the history of this building and there is also a skate park. A skate park in a skyscraper. We'll check out that. But first, let's take a look at Sao Paulo, the biggest city in Latin America. Yeah, from high above, this city looks even bigger. Seems like it's never ending in that direction. Actually, in any direction. And 
look at the view to the other side. This is where we were, this uh, big square down there on this big street. It's funny to think that this is kind of the old town of Sao Paulo, the old part of Sao Paulo. Yeah, doesn't look like that when you see so many huge skyscrapers. But there are also some historical buildings in between them. I just love these old skyscrapers like this one. Now let's go to the museum on the 24th floor. Uh, the museum is on three floors and then to the skate park. So museum, exhibition. No, this is not for us today. We are going to the skate park. 22nd floor, skate park. Oh, skate park. And now, fifth floor. So this was the room occupied by the president. So the bank president was sitting here, checking Instagram, watching YouTube videos, making big decisions. And now the last one. Welcome to Barros Santander Pass. So, that's it. If you are interested in art and in this uh, exhibition, you might need like two hours, like they say, on reviews of this place. But if you just want to go to the viewpoint, the observation deck, it's enough also to go just for five minutes and definitely go to the what was this second floor? This video about the building, which is the, which for a long time was the tallest building in Sao Paulo, is super impressive. So this is the building from the outside. Inspired by the Empire State Building in New York, for many years it was the tallest building in Sao Paulo. Okay, so now we have looked at Sao Paulo from above. It's time to go and see the streets. Beautiful street art. The fruit empire. The sausage empire. It looks like a food market. Looks like a central market in Riga. But the biggest difference is that here are many options where you can eat here in the market. Yeah, so you can uh, both buy fruits, buy meat, buy vegetables, and you can also eat here. Let's continue our Sao Paulo walk. Is it Kaspers Street? Maybe it is Kaspers Street. There was a man selling sugarcane juice, one of my favorite juices, uh, at least in India and in Pakistan. There they make it really good. It's time for some dessert, some churros. This one is super sweet because it's uh, filled with uh, condensed milk also. So inside, condensed milk, it's sugar coated and with chocolate on top. Oh yeah, by the way, and here is the 
a tall building we were planning to go to the viewpoint Circolo Italiano third tallest building in Sao Paulo right now there is like a there is no viewpoint like a viewpoint but there is a cafe a restaurant you can go to uh, yeah and buy some um, something and um, have a nice view of the city as well I read that the cheapest option is here is uh, same like there 30 riyash which is around like 5 euro 6 euro and you also get champagne or sort of coffee I don't know like if you're interested check it out but we won't be going here because we already went there and had a nice view of the city from the old part of the city we are going to one of uh, Sao Paulo's nightlife areas see how it looks during the day not there yet we walked in that area yesterday in the afternoon in the evening it's a really cool area with uh, lots of bars restaurants cafes cool cool bars cool cafes cool uh, barber shops cool everything a skate park there are several things i like about big cities and uh, one of them is street art the other is skyscrapers both new and fancy and shiny and also the old ones i really like the old ones one of the reasons we are coming to this area today is because there is one place where they sell one of our all-time favorite malaysian foods roti chennai it's our comfort food and we really really want it we haven't gotten it for two years probably since 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 we were in bali so we are in the half hopefully they are open today the area is called consola chao a lot of places are closed right now which is normal for a nightlife area we are going to the restaurant small restaurant <laughs> kitchen lab i think which is closed right now according to google they open in 15 minutes so let's wait a little bit it's also a very lgbt friendly area So Carrefour, the pink castle of Sao Paulo, church maybe. Whew. No, we aren't coming to eat one more time because we just ate at that uh, Indian place and uh, they didn't have the roti chennai and what they had. It wasn't really bad, but yeah, but. But anyway, we had a lunch and then now we are just cooling off in a shopping mall. Because outside it's hot. It's really, really hot. It's also always interesting to see like uh, what's available in a shopping mall, like especially in a food court. And this is Jardim Paulista. It's starting here and going in that direction. A beautiful area of Sao Paulo, as they say. So far, it looks nice. Some cool skyscrapers here. Like this one. This is Jardim Paulista, a beautiful residential neighborhood. Not only high rises here, but mostly. Feeling really tired after six hours of walking, but there is one more last place we want to go today. It's uh, the Botanical Garden of Sao Paulo. We want to go there today because um, tomorrow it's highly likely that it will rain. So 
we are going to the metro and going to the botanical garden for a little bit more of walking maybe an hour or two before it starts raining today and we are going to the station called Brigadeiro Brigadeiro is my favorite Brazilian dessert And now a little bit more walking away from the city center it looks like a completely different city much more quiet clean yeah really like a different city looks like there was a market and now it's over now the market is closed looks very much like in um, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia some quiet residential neighborhood really like in KL This, I believe, is Botanical Garden. And I was right, because here it is, the Botanical Garden of Sao Paulo. Just as the reviews say, it's a peaceful place for walking you can also come for a picnic if you want there is a lot of space where you can sit down there are also some uh, benches and um, tables picnic tables this is also the place where we'll finish this video about sao paulo i don't know if there will be another video about sao paulo or not but there will definitely be another video from brazil so see you later most likely still from brazil